In this lab, you are going to animate. You have to use a different sprite other than the cat, so I just went with the balloon. I'm going to show you the final balloon, which will be on the right. That has all the effects that you need for the lab. And it keeps going and going and going. And so what we're going to do right now, I notice everything resets when I click on them. So let's go ahead and get the reset done first. I decided to shrink the balloon to start at 50 size instead of 100. And my direction initially was 90. My X and my Y are right here. And one thing to notice when it, you move this balloon around, the go to right here changes to your current position. So that could be really useful. So when I receive the reset message. I'm going to go to my original position, which is negative 100, negative 30, and point in direction 90. And when the sprite is clicked, broadcast reset. I have the same thing on the other sprite, just so you can click either balloon, it will reset. Whatever you change up here, you're going to want to reset it down here. Because if you don't, let's go ahead and pull this out. If you don't reset it, I hit play. Actually, this is not a good example because I don't do very much up here. But if you don't have this code in here, I won't reset. All right, so I'm going to reset it to the original x, y position and point in the original direction to the right. Now, when we hit the play button, the green flag, what I want to do is make it turn a little bit and change the Y coordinate. And I'm just gonna turn two degrees to the right. Maybe we'll change that to 20 or 15. So we see a much bigger difference. And then we'll go uh, 15 back. Change Y by negative five and by positive five. Now one thing to notice, this is two blocks here. So there's two separate things that are gonna happen. The way I have them in here first, we're going to turn counter clock or clockwise 15 degrees and then move down five. And you should see that right there. So we did that 10 times. So we actually turned 150 degrees. And that was a little too much turning, but I just wanted to see the difference. Uh, now when I click either balloon, it resets everything, which is very useful. So now I get to see what five degrees does. So I can repeat this 10 times or some other number. Now, I want to basically undo all that, or at least mostly undo it. So I'm gonna turn back five degrees, and I'm gonna change Y by positive five. And each of these are supposed to happen 10 times. Notice I didn't hit reset. Let's go ahead and hit reset now. Hit play, it happened one time. It only happened one time because, although I repeated each of these blocks individually, 10 times, I did not make them uh, go over and over and over. So what we're going to do is change that. There's a loop called forever loop, which doesn't repeat 10 times, it repeats forever. Now I'm going to put this loop inside. So it's going to make it go forever. And of course it keeps changing that Y to be negative. Now I lost my balloon, so I got to click on the other balloon uh, to reset. Good thing I have it there. Now what we're going to do is, let's see, you got to be very careful where you drop this. So I want to repeat 10 times these two things, repeat 10 times these two things, and hit play. And it should basically undo itself. So it's moving down then up and rotating and rotating back. Okay, in this lab, you have to do a lot more animation than this. Uh, so whatever you do, you have to make sure you undo. And... Uh, Here's to say something cool. You can choose what's cool. You can change the color effect. That's how I did this balloon over here. You can change the size as well. And that's how I made the balloon on the right shrink and grow. And you can, of course, change the X coordinate. Uh, but whatever you do, you should have something that doesn't have to undo it necessarily. Like I'll go ahead and change this to two. So we're going to go down five and then up two. So overall, it'll move downwards because it's going down more than up. You do have to make sure you reset whatever you do. So if I'm going to go ahead and change the color effect, now I'm going to have to clear graphics effect. 
whenever I reset. 